I posted four different data sets to uh, Canvas under the week five files. And all of the four data sets start with week five data set, and they are comma separated files. Each of these data sets have two variables, X and a Y. And what I want you to do is to calculate the mean and standard deviation of X, and separately to calculate the mean and standard deviation of Y. And write those numbers down, and I want you to compare those to what you're going to see on the following slide. So what values did you get? Depending on which data set you downloaded, your data set looked like one of these sets of numbers. Now, just looking at these numbers a little bit more closely, because your data set was only one of these four, the x value is actually the same for x1, x2, and x3, although it's different for x4, obviously. Y1, Y2, Y3, and Y4 are actually different across all of the four data sets. And so what you would expect is that the mean and standard deviation of X and the mean and standard deviation of Y are going to be different depending on which data set that you got. Well, it turns out that the mean of X is actually nine, regardless of which data set you used. And the mean of Y is seven and a half, regardless of which data set you use as well. Not only that, if you were to have calculated a correlation between X and Y, you would have gotten the exact same correlation coefficient. And had you fit a linear regression line to the relationship between X and Y, which is also known as kind of like a best fit line, you would have gotten the same exact equation uh, resulting from each of these four data sets, even though these four data sets are pretty different. So how are they different? Here's a visual representation of the four data sets. Chances are that when you were thinking about the data sets, you were actually envisioning uh, this example in figure one, where the points are kind of equally spread along either side of the line, uh, which is giving you a nice clean linear relationship. But in point of fact, uh, in figure two, the relationship is a curve. In figure three, there's kind of one extreme outlier while the rest of the relationship is linear. And in figure four, uh, regardless of the value of X, you know, there's different values for Y, um, which is why it's like a vertical line with the exception of one extreme outlier uh, where the value of X and Y are both really high. And believe it or not, if you were to fit a linear regression line to any of those four combinations, you get the same best fit line. Um, and this is a very kind of famous and well-known example, and it's known as ANSCOM's quartet. And the main takeaway from ANSCOM's quartet is that you shouldn't just look at the summary statistics and look at the numbers to try to get a sense for what the relationships are in your data. Visualization can actually tell you much more efficiently and effectively how that relationship looks like. And it might be very different from what you expect based just purely on the numbers. So a picture is indeed worth a thousand words.